Welcome back to a new vlog. So guys, um, if you are bumping into this video for the first time on my channel, uh, my name is Kendra, I'm an international student living here in the UK and I make videos about my life here in the UK and also I give in tips on how to get things at affordable prices and also traveling around. So if you are interested in all this stuff, I would advise you to subscribe button subscribe like share and join the family so guys uh, i have a couple of like this kitchen actually as you're seeing it is a mess as i've been on i'm working for days now and we are all you just all i just need to do just bring that whatever i've put in the fridge just want it you know, want it that's what i've been doing so i need to lay tidy on my uh, kitchen today very well and wish you guys will be doing with me in a minute and also i went to the fish market guys so uh, this is what I do though uh, chicken is quite affordable in the UK fish are quite expensive but uh, I will advise if you know you can balance it, balance it so what we'll be doing for the past few months right now is we get um, salmon fish which I'll be putting in uh, I've, I've made a clip already so this is the salmon fish we've got salmon fish we've got um, tilapia fish uh, I'll show you in a minute and then the equally get the big prawns or the king um, prawns. So, so these are uh, kind of a bit expensive but uh, I will actually advise you to do this because it's not all the time you need to chicken and beef and all that, you understand? So, so for me and my husband, this is very very uh, good for us. So it's uh, kind of, especially for the salmon, it's only whenever we are making what it called it's stir fry spaghetti, stir fry, fried rice, whatever we are probably we just don't want to go to a restaurant, we just want to get something unique at home, we use it and voila. And it's very very easy to prepare. So also after that I went to the uh, what the common farm market, I got an amount that is I got corn. So uh, this is actually sweet corn. So I got this sweet corn. Then I got me like a okay. pet, things like a pot, and I got spring. Um, so, um, all these I'm going to shop them. But these are actually the paper we have already. We've had this already for a very long time in the fridge. So, I'm going to clean them, shop them, and put them in the book. So, the idea is to, whenever I want to cook, it will be easy actually for me to just bring up these things and cook whatever I want to cook. Yeah. So, uh, this is what. Uh, I got this one. So alright, uh, I'll show you the fish when I'm trying to pack them in the pack of them in the fridge. Alright, let's move over there. Let me show you the other side of them. Guys, can you see? Can you see? So these are dirty the kitchen is okay. Look at this side too. Can you see? So these are everywhere is looking right now. But we are going to tidy up everything together. As you see, right? guys this is the king from cycles and uh, also i showed you the cellar run the salmon fish and the salmon fish is actually it's a bit uh it's not that too big though anyway but it's just there there's the tilapia while the guy was actually cleaning all the fish and the item i need but they did actually clean the prompts i did myself uh, so the reason why i went for salmon fish though is expensive but i still decided to go for it in the sense that because of the health benefit of eating a salmon fish so for those of you who know or you can decide to read up on it uh, you will see a lot of benefit and guys this fish if you want to enjoy it maybe one of these days when i'm preparing it i'll just frame part of it just a little uh ingredient and voila you are good to go you just pop it in the oven most time i don't bother fry it I just marinate it and put it in the oven and that's all okay. guys. So guys, uh, we are ready to actually clean up our mess. But quickly, I just want to show you guys. There is a new addition to the kitchen. So I got this frying pan, which is a 28 centimeter 
that was from I ordered it online to Ago so you can equally check them out on the aftermarket I was seeing it for around 16 pounds but when I went uh, online I checked on Ago and I saw this for just 8 pounds why this is the uh, I've said this in a couple of my videos ago that I paid for a set of pots about four no five set of pots this is it so uh, we have actually used the first second and third but this is the fourth and fifth part that we have these pots are very big you can see they are very very big and I do have an iPad I really really like this pot and then the money is actually worth I think I got it for 89 pounds and I paid about twice so if I fully try, I did pay, I made sure I finished paying for picking it so that uh, I just decided to pay it gradually. It was actually something that I really loved, uh, I was happy that I did. So in case probably you want to cook more, Christmas is coming, you have family and friends, you want to cook in large quantities, you know. Because the other person will use more than that big. If I just cook rabbit, it will not last more than two days, except if it is soup. But with this now, we can cook rice that can last more than a week for us. So, all this is just uh, trying to get accessories that will make your life much, much easier. So, that's why I just like to come and show you guys this. And yeah! Well, what is left here is just basically uh, me cleaning, uh, trying to clean the whole uh, house, you know. So guys, having a clean kitchen hmm, is more like, um, it's a relief. Let me not say testimony, it's a relief. When you look at your kitchen, your kitchen is clean and your mind is calm. I am this kind of person, if there is one dirty plate, um, I begin to have a... a I begin to have this unrest in me just to try to not to make sure that I clean everywhere. So actually this cleaning habit actually did not come uh, with me from Nigeria because now where I'm working we always clean. You can see the way I'm drying uh, spoons and plates. I actually don't do that back home because you just put it in a sieve and the thing will dry on its own but here in the uk i know some of you will say ah back on you don't used to dry your plate like this no actually i don't but here because of where i work and the way things are and also another thing i notice is that it make uh things easy you know back home you just keep it there and the plate decide to dry on its own but this one you dry it arrange everything all at once you don't need to come back more like pending work for yourself you know if you get what I mean, so that's the advantage of uh, actually doing this. Though some people do it back home in Nigeria, but me, I never did it, so I don't need to start come and pretending here that I've done it. So this is actually what I started doing. One of my cultural, uh, should I say, cultural shock or cultural imitation, I uh, have started here in the uh, UK, and actually it's quite uh, it's good because when someone comes into your kitchen, the whole place, everything. Uh, everything is already in, a, in their right places so yeah I'm just trying to boil corn because this sweet corn actually I forgot to actually got um, coconut on this day but because I really needed once in a while I always want to eat corn I don't know why but it's just what I always want to eat and I always end up having it anyway so that's what I was just doing here and I went back to the fish i finish all the most major cleaning in the kitchen plate and all that so i just want to i add salt to that water that will tie uh add salt to it and just put the fish on the sea for the water to drain and start transferring them to their container so guys this is the fish that we had previously part of the one we are still eating from so we still have two slices left like i said most time i just need just one slice for us to make our stir fry because most of our stir fry is just once eating or maybe twice and we'll do it probably with fish and chicken so there's no point actually taking so, so much fish and uh, so we'll just grab the one and cut it into the marinade and put it in the oven and that's all so that was the one that we were eating from so definitely if you know what is fit for raise up your hand so definitely i will be following the fifo method we will definitely still eat that one first before 
go in for this one much much uh, later as the day progress so actually what i'm still looking up to when we relocate actually i want to get a bigger deep freezer so i can preserve more things and also guys please if you are watching this video and probably you are in a share group in the uk where they share full stuff please let me know because i'm interested but i've not seen any uh group like that that are doing sharing item because i will really 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 love it because from what i understood sharing all these items are way cheaper than buying it on your own or buying it from the store one by one so what i'm doing here is that i'm just arranging them in the bowl so this is actually one liter bowl of ice cream so guys also another thing please raise up here if you are keeping your bowl of ice cream and your chicken uh plastic in my one of our drive there we have tons of chicken plastic that have stalled over the period let me know over the months and guys hmm, that thing is a lifesaver though each time anyone that goes i just throw them away but i can't just throw any one away i'll have to keep it until they start they thing decide to say okay you know what i'm no more doing again and that's when i would throw them away i hardly throw them away so that's what has really been helping us and we've been using it even before we start getting bigger plates as in other stuff in the kitchen is all these containers we've been using in in here and that's really 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 help us so if probably you just start buying bigger ones from the one no, actually i did not do that so I'm, i've just finished washing the tilapia so i'm just going to show you a couple of routes how to wash you can see that uh i call it poo <laughs> anyway yeah prawn pools i will just there's a way i will clean it now and i will show you what it looks like so you just remove the head once you there's a way you hold the side of it once leave it for water for a bit you just remove the i'll do another one for you to see and you can see you just press that out and you can cut it actually on the side you just cut it into today you see two black rope again inside you can decide to remove it or you can decide to leave it like that so it all depends on how you want so these ones now they are all washed the head i've, re I've removed the head and all that and i'll just go i'm just going to store them now in the fridge so this section is the uh, prepping of um, vegetables that i need for either whenever i want to do cooking either fried mostly it's for stir fry stir item anyway whenever i want to make anything stir item so these are the finished products so what happened was that the previous day when i finished i was so tired i couldn't film it towards the next morning you can see it's a bit frozen so these are what i shop before i finish shopping this pepper this is two liter that bowl you are seeing that bowl of ice cream is actually two liters and before i was able to finish shopping this pepper guys i was so tired but i just needed to do it because i know it's going to last me more than a month and also that is the spring onion i know the spring onion might not last that long but at least i can use it like three to four times for any mini stir i'm going to do that means cooking now any stir food has been made easy i don't know if you understand so that's the whole uh, idea of this uh, prepping of the vegetable and seriously um you know that's uh goal you put before you and you Go ahead and finish doing it and you are super super happy that oh god lord thank you lord for giving me this opportunity to actually achieve uh this and that's how i felt when i finished uh prepping all this vegetable for our meal all right talk to you guys later so guys yesterday i managed to complete uh the meal prepping all the stuff that required dicing now if I want to stay fry, just my matter of getting them out of the freezer. So I'm super super happy. And these are not processed. They are not. Uh, these are more like uh, organic kind of things. Things I purchase myself and preserve them for fast. Okay. That's number one thing I'm super super happy about. And um, also, uh, I have a mini trip this uh, that's next weekend. So I'm, I'm going to be off work for a whole week. I uh, ended it deliberately because I felt I needed some rest. Inside my soul is calling for rest. So I can call it rest yet in rest, but I just felt I needed like three days a month from those seven days to just go and rest my head somewhere, see somewhere different. Manchester has been in my list uh, coming. 
uh yeah so i have a couple of other cities that are on my list but right now manchester is the next destination for me this weekend uh, sorry next weekend so i'm going to manchester guys i'm going to take you guys along definitely so at the end of this vlog um i will be showing you guys a couple of um how will i put it down uh pack with me yeah a couple of pack with me that will be the end of this vlog by the continuation of the other vlog we start driving going to Manchester so uh, actually I'm looking forward to that trip I'm spending three days yeah three days in Manchester and I'm going to do uh, as much vlog as I needed but also at the same time have fun definitely you guys are having that same fun so guys uh, actually I'm working late today I think I'll be going to work in another few hours few hours time and um, I made a fries guys uh, Actually, last week I made gobolo, I made white soup, though I didn't actually think that. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should just uh, be thinking of what to take before going to work. So, a quick act on those of you who are doing night shift. I don't know about your place of work, though my place of work you have the privilege of having more like a snacks or preparing any meal on it. But what I've noticed. Uh, my tummy is not showing. When next I go to the gym, I'll try and show you guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, also regarding the gym, so I've uh, jinxed the gym for like five days now. I've not been there for like five days. So what I'm planning to do now, now that I'm approaching my vacation, it's not like I'm going to go there and feed back to back, back to back. So I just want to try and see uh, how I can do a couple of exercises. So even while on the um, trip, I will equally be burning uh, fat or equally be. Uh, burning some tick muscles or losing some tick muscles so that's what I plan to do so I think my I'm leaving on Thursday yeah Thursday I'm coming back on Saturday yeah so that's my uh, trip plan and uh, yeah so all right guys I'll see I'll just finish you you know after I didn't show you guys the finished product of what I did so you'll get right I'll show you guys I I show you the best of the whole kitchen and you'll see what it looks like correctly and yeah so be prepping is the thing guys it's very very important to prep your meal all right guys let me quickly show you that before i go to work so maybe probably when i'm going to work i can just take you guys along so now right now uk weather is uh funny so um i think it started like a few weeks back uh in the morning it's very gloomy everywhere very very gloomy and um in the daytime it's a bit sunny that's towards in the afternoon probably from that day to four five then from that five till the next morning till ten it's a bit cold kind of cold so i just dress for the weather so if you live in the uk guys dress for the weather is very very important to keep put your hands first and also right now get into active if you're in the uk probably i know i know a lot of people i know and my friends who are in the uk very low their families are staying in Nigeria and so on all the you know in between anyway but just try and engage yourself in activity that will make you uh, that you that you like or that your body appreciates so so that at the end of the day you don't just get uh, don't just stay uh, nothing to show for it you know just try and do things that make yourself happy if it's dinner if it's movies subscribe for a particular uh, uh, channel or whatever probably like Netflix or something you know you can do that so irrespective so just do things that actually uh, put your mental health first and um, yeah all right guys let me show you that here guys here you can see everything is sparkling clean so this is my regular green and lemon so i take this like every day it's very very important what i've noticed is that it helps my it digests and it also uh, reduces my bloating so guys this is the kitchen can you imagine everywhere is clean i have just this one plate that my husband used to eat before going to work and also i prepared jello fries yep and also uh on this side uh, this is our fruits mini fruit area so what we normally do previously everything we have was waste of them in the fridge but now I think I don't think it's necessary because definitely most of the 
uh, fruit I'm seeing is not always on the fridge so I decided to bring it out to have more space in the fridge for other items yep and also uh, vitamins uh, vitamins are there and all the rest so you can see it's well uh, kind of not really well well it's a bit organized and all that so that's it uh, so guys yeah i was just gonna show you how i make my green uh tea and lemon so i just take a two slice middle slice of both sides i have a juice i remove the seed that's the way i think i remove the seed behind the corner yep so i just put that in the cup and add my green tea to it so guys this is the green tea i bought from nido and i'll just pour hot water and allow it to diffuse for like a few more minutes before uh, taking it even you know because there is no liquid on it so it's always very hot if the water is very very uh if the water uh, boiled on the kettle so you just leave it for a few minutes and once it's a bit cold you allow you are good to go i take this like three four times in a day but i don't change the lemon i'll just keep each time you fill it with warm water and allow it to diffuse for a while, it the flavor comes up again. So this is the oatmeal currently um uh granola actually um taking. This granola is very full so if you don't want to eat rice probably just get this guys with your milk. A little milk guys, you are very very you are good to go. I use uh, this evaporated milk. Actually we barely use the regular um, fresh to make from the farm that they always use we prefer this evaporated because it stays longer and lasts for us and you add a bit of water and voila guys this was the only thing there is different type of nut fruits inside though this one is kind of a bit expensive i think i bought it for around two pounds something for maybe one. Our piece someday. so guys today is someday. Um, i just uh, came back hours ago though I did say this online and then um, I just want to quickly have my meal and go back and go and sleep at least for a few hours because also I'm working tonight so yeah guys um so uh, I think uh, much later I uh, will be going to see the center um yep I'll take you guys along uh one of my and get some stuff in the center So you guys saw my green tea guys. So this green tea, <coughs> this green tea and lemon is in fact I don't know how to explain it. But for my own body, it has reduced my bloating, it has reduced uh, my digest, uh, digestive system and also I go to the toilet like frequently. Not too late, no way you go to the mouth toilet. Look when I feel very light, you know. That's what this green, uh, green tea and the lemon does for my body. But I don't know, it's not everybody, some people their body react to it. So if your body reacts to it, or probably you check or get pens if it's you know your body will react to it, you can avoid it. But for me, it's working perfectly fine for me, it does fine in my body. So subsequently, I'm going to be uh, feeling some tea or juice that I'm making. Uh, it might come as a single video or it might come in the vlog so it all actually depends on how I really want to do it because I have tried getting some recipe for uh, one of my things you should take before going to bed or like your last tea for your tummy especially for those who are like plumpy like me I don't want to use the word a uh, bit of hats you know those who are plumpy like me and you have probably told me your tummy is a bit on a bigger side like mine so uh, those three 
and keep making some new recipe. Either I make a single video for it or I make a full. Either I make a vlog, I put it in a vlog or I make a single video. So that's what um, I will do. Well, yeah, guys, this is a life saver for me for now. Yeah, so this is what um, I'll see you guys later on. On this, I'm not very full. So, if you don't want me to do it, I can tell you that I'm hoping for this. And also, I'll show you what I will be taking for my lunch and dinner. Because right now, I'm trying to avoid rice as much as I can. Take more of oat protein. You know, my cup. So, I'll show you what I'm taking for lunch and what I'll have for dinner before going to eat. Alright, I'll show you guys later. Bye. Guys, here I just got out some prawns and um, some hot dog that I already have in the fridge. So, this is what actually happened here is I can see the uh, prawn is slightly cooked because I will, I just put it under hot water and that's what I was doing. So, I just added salt. As I was running hot water under it, the thing just look as if it's cooked. So, I just had salt, onion, sorry, salt and dry onion and dry pepper. And I will add the um, what's it called and um, soya sauce to it. I add soya pepper. That was what I just added. I had the soya pepper, the Nigerian soya pepper and spice. Yeah, so so that was what I added. Wait, guys, and guys, in fact, this came out so tasty and so brilliantly well. Wow. And I'll show you how I managed to mix the foundation for this wrap. So actually, my lunch was actually a wrap of a combination of this and egg. So after I uh, find this, after I just so I got this spray. I've showed it on my previous Shein vlog. I got it from Shein. So if you're looking for that kind of spray, probably you don't want too much oil on your food. You can get that spray bottle. That was the reason why I get the spray bottle. So that whenever I'm stir frying or anything like this, that I don't want too much. You can see I'm just spraying the pan and I'll break the egg in. Guy, this was. I just thought of it. What, what will I eat for? Uh, what will I take for lunch? And this just this idea just pop up my pop up on my head. And I was like, okay, let me try it. And this is the other uh, side. So okay, I think a background to this is that there's a place where we, we me and my colleague we usually go and get some. Um, breakfast whenever we are online so we finish night in the morning when we are coming we get to the city center we go to what they call it whose gloves or so they they give a shawl this shawl latte and a wrap for around four pounds anyway so most time they take me there anyway so i just felt okay what can i do at home that would be similar or even better than what I normally buy for that for them. and this is what I came out with and guys it believe in it tastes in fact it tastes very nice the one I gave to my husband my husband was forced to share it into two just to take part along to the uh to work instead of taking regular rice that we always take to work and this was super super brilliant. so this is the mixer I did I added a mild a um ketchup and my own is very tiny pieces for two wraps that uh yeah and i added uh, that one is the black pepper homemade black pepper i make that black pepper myself here in the uk and this is dry onion i made the dry onion myself so that was all i just used for the foundation the thing was not much but uh, the test is out of this world it's something that I will not want to use frequently because in our house we have found of this thing. Once we see anything new, we start eating it until the thing will tell us, please don't come close to us again. So I will try and probably I will be doing this maybe once in a week, whatever about. So the idea is that at every bite, the same protein you use must be replicated. But I think there's for that uh uh breakfast place we used to go they use a uh, what's it called burger filler that beef burger they use and the uh, branding but i don't want all those things so i just do my own naturally in a way that i know that okay this is the mixture i use you can see 
so i'm just doing the uh cream so i didn't put too much cream so that was another thing i noticed but those ones also they add cheese to it but me i don't really want cheese you know me i'm trying to run away from fat and all those things the um make i'm taking in other stuff is enough so you can see what i did you can see but another thing i forgot i wanted to add chicken to this but later on they escaped my mind because it, the chicken was in the fridge i forgot to bring it out but next time definitely i will add chicken or you can add chicken or whatever protein you like or uh, ram or goat whatever you like and guys in fact uh, this came out very well so this is the second wrap i'm just doing it so that you guys can see how well this was well wrapped you can see the egg so the second egg did not really come out well but the second the first egg did not come out well, but the second one came out very very well and guys in fact uh, this was very very rich so just put it cover it like this and guys just flip it just keep it for like a few minutes guys you are good to go man i ate this thing eh? like if they should give me four self i will finish it but i just give one to my husband and one to myself so this is it and uh, now i'm preparing my dinner so this is the oats what i did with the oats is that i just blend the oats and once i blend it i will boil the water already already i've boiled the water down on the kettle i'll just pour that hot water in so into the pot so uh to be easy and fast after then you just pour the hot water in spray oil on it then on the volume of what you're making just add it and keep stirring this is the white soup i talked about earlier on and uh, i just pour it and cover it so this is how the oats is going to form and swallow definitely i cannot finish this so it's me and my husband that i split it into two two one part i kept one part for him in a bowl and this was my bowl trust me i cannot eat big swallow but i can eat protein you know if you know you know if you know you know if you know you know so guys this is what i had for dinner and pie if you've watched up to now if not subscribe please subscribe like and share my video see you guys on the next one Ciao.